Ian here. It's Jen, right? Yes, sir. Please, call me Ian. I was just getting set up for our next stop. Sir, Ian, I just wanted to discuss how it went out there. You know, I don't think it was my best performance. I thought you were fine. Well, defensive operations aren't my strong suit. I'm more comfortable in the attack. I'm a very capable mech warrior, and if you check my dossier, I think you'll find that my record reflects that. Anyway, it was an honor to fight with you, sir. I really believe in what we're doing. Thanks, Jen. Sorry, I've got another message coming in. Yes? The flight crew tells me that we're on track for a successful polar deorbit. Your uncle won't risk communications while in flight, but he'll contact us once we're both down. What are the plans for our first planet-side operation? Peter and I chose to hit the SpySat Launch and Control Facility on the Elysium Tundra. The satellite network provides Roland with worldwide reconnaissance. We should be able to evade detection for a while, but inevitably he'll pick us up. Once he does, he can track our every move. So, we intend to use his own toys against him. We hit a number of outlying facilities to stall a counterattack. Then we launch an assault on the satellite control station. We don't destroy it, we capture it. Peter's bringing in some of Carl's former colleagues, engineers who can aid us in taking over the station. Once we have control, we can use the satellites to identify Steiner targets and track troop movements. Sounds good. Before we set down, you'll have to scout out the area near our drop site. If any patrols identify our drop location, we're dead. We'll hot drop you prior to setting down. I recommend you keep your recon lance small to avoid detection, but that's your call. I'll upload the tactical overview for the rest of the op by the time you get back. Hopefully, Peter will have contacted us by then. Be sure to check your lancemate roster and get me your picks for the mission as soon as possible. All right. I'll get us set up for the drop. Our equipment seems to have handled the trip just fine, young Grisari. I just wish there was a bit more of it. There should be good supplies for salvage here on the Tundra. Even some heavier chassis. We could use them. Agreed. Heat management shouldn't be much of a problem in this environment, but it will be more of a factor than on the moon. Since the enemy will be more formidable here, you'll want to use surprise in your tactics. Perhaps some long-range weapons in your loadout specifications. Also, speed will be more of a factor, particularly in this terrain. Faster mechs can handle the steeper slopes more effectively. I'll keep that in mind. A piece of advice, young Grisari. Balance your lancemate's loadout with your own. You want to fight as a coordinated whole, not as a collection of mismatched single combatants. Once you've specified the mech configurations you'll be using, I'll get them set up as quickly as possible. Good luck. Sir? Yes, Casey? I notice we've been encountering a lot of smaller combatants. I tend to try to take those targets out at longer range since their weapons are often range limited. Prudent. When I'm on Lance, I'd like you to consider me your official sniper, sir. Okay, maybe not official, but I'd like to be outfitted for longer range engagements. It's a tactic I use a lot and heartily recommend. When possible, I'll try to arrange for you to be appropriately outfitted for that role. Thanks, sir. I'd also recommend that we all try to use it to our full advantage. I suspect we're going to be encountering a lot of smaller craft in this environment. Even against mechs, you can do a lot of damage with long-range sniping. Particularly if you're not in a hurry. All right, Casey. I'll try to remember that. And encourage the rest of the team to use it when appropriate. We're getting close to the drop site, so you need to make final equipment and personnel choices. There won't be any support personnel available until after the dropship touches down. So if any of your lance are forced to eject, it'll be a while before we're able to pick them up. Understood. Rathburn out.
Control, this is Omega Lead. We're down. Macquarie here. I'm down and clear. Roger, Omega Lead. We're preparing for touchdown. We know Steiner's running patrols out here, so scout all nav points and neutralize any units you encounter. We can't risk being discovered. Roger, Control. Sweep and destroy. En route to nav point Alpha. Close up and form on me. Copy. Looks like we've got company. Target destroyed. Attack my target. Roger. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Take out designated target. Roger. Attack my target. Roger. Enemy detected. Control, we've got some kind of small outpost here. Roger, Omega Lead. Probably a recon base. Take out any defenses and mobile units. Affirmative, Control. In progress. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed.
Target destroyed. Warning. Damage critical. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Sweep the area again and make sure no one's left. Control, this is Omega Lead. I show a clear scope. I think that's it. Roger, Omega Lead. We confirm that. We're touching down. Confirmed. As soon as we're down, I'll have the salvage team sweep the area and see what they can recover. Control out. Omega, be advised. Steiner's elite units are deployed in this area, so you may have some tougher fights. Drop ship two. 